My name is Kevin Frediani and I'm the Head of Sustainable Land Use at Bicton College in Devon and I've been specifically looking at how do we provide more secure and resilient cities as we go forward. In the last few years there was an important figure which changed where 50% of the world's population now live in cities globally. The United Nations estimate that by 2050, 80% of the population will be living in cities. So it's incumbent upon those cities to become more resilient, but also to be more in, in empathy with the ecosystem services of the landscapes around them. If you think prior to 1750, most of our fresh produce on a seasonal basis was produced in the market gardens around our cities. It was, in fact, they were fed by the night source. So there was a waste into productivity cycle that was self-sustaining. In a globalised world where we use petrochemicals to grow our food and grow them more distant from where we live and work, we've become less understanding of the true impact and that's where data comes in. So data is a really important aspect of modern approaches to agriculture but also to planning sustainable supply chains. Carbon is something which people are becoming much more aware of in our global food supply chain. If I use an example based around lettuce, people hear the figure 1.5 kilograms of carbon being associated with a lettuce grown in Almira in Spain, imported to the UK for us to consume in the winter. And that of course causes concern because it's only a one kilogram lettuce and we know that carbon is linked to climate change and climate change is something which will impact upon us being able to grow our own crops in this country in the future. But when you contrast that with a lettuce in the UK under controlled environments in a glass house with extra lighting, that's 1.8 kilograms of carbon. Carbon's a complex issue, but the data is really important for us because it makes us make informed decisions about our food. Unless you're involved in agriculture, you won't know how smart agriculture has become. Not just in the developed West, but also in the developing countries. If you think about something like the mobile telephone, it's a universal tool of information. And smart apps that allow people in Kenya to coordinate with each other so that their produce can go to market and they can get the best price for it but also make sure that the that, that someone who would otherwise compete with them is maybe going to a different market that day it means that they can supply what's needed and, and not waste in those local areas. Those same mobile telephones are connecting people in Argentina growing crops with people in Devon growing crops because they're talking from the same basis, they're farming land, trying to get as much as they can out of it, but do it in a sustainable way. And these, these technologies that are coming through, apps, mobile telephones, linked to the GPS on their tractors, allow them to be globally connected, but locally focused. <laughs>